There's a reason the size croc here. He's kind of been watching me all day, the bugger. It's a little bit worrying, actually. She flies going. He's just sitting just over here. Just gone down under the water. I'll see if I can pick him up on the side scan. But he has been watching me. I've seen him this morning. But he's been hanging around here. Not, you know, casing me out. Because I camp not too far away from here, so... I might have to actually move camp down a bit further, I think. It's a little bit worrying, a bit daunting. Well, I thought about that croc. I've just moved about 5Ks away from it. It was just too big. You don't make, muck around. If you've got a gut feeling, get out of there, just follow your gut. So I've done that, different location, but it's not that far to go back. I'd rather burn a bit more fuel than just yeah, be worried about that all night. I mean, he can come down this way, and there is other crocs, but at least it's not that same croc. He's just starting to work out my, you know, like my habits, I suppose. Um, yeah, it just feels a bit more safer probably more of a headset thing but it's always good to break up your routine when you're camping in a boat even on the uh, river banks and stuff like that don't ever walk down to your boat if your boat's in the water every single day if you're there for 10 days three days four days you know a couple of days is not too bad but yeah you go over two three days those crocs work out they're just bloody that conniving so you're better off either, you know, when you park your boat, move it over another couple hundred metres and, you know, buddy, you just change your patterns. So it brings us to now. New camp, new location. Because of that croc, I reckon he was stalking me. He was just, he just watched me all day and it's just, normally they'll come in and out, but him just cruising around, watching me all day, just listen to your gut feeling and get out of there. Go somewhere else. Like I'm going to go back there tomorrow with a special guest. Two metre barrow today, I get to have two beers. I've only got two beers left. Like, if I get another two, well, that's it. I'm just going to have to go home. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. I'm going to enjoy this beer. Morning, everyone. Well, it's mid-morning. I'm just uh, trolling along. Just got a couple of rods out. I'm not expecting to catch too much at the moment until that tide gets better during the day, and then we'll hopefully hook into some fish. But it has been slow. It's hard work. It was a mission getting here and everything's just paying off. Absolutely beautiful. I'll sit back, relax, enjoy day four. I've been on the River of Giants. Gonna have to call it the River of Giants. It's just big fish. <laughs> All right, let's get into this one, guys. This is Birchie. Birchie. How, How you going, going mate? <laughs> Welcome aboard. Yeah. Snag about. We're on, guys. Good fish, too. Here we go, Birchie. It's metering. You're right there, mate. Hey, grab that rod. Come straight to the back. We're running out of line. Yeah. All right, bro. Awesome. Getting day. Oh, 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 oh. That's a big fish. Huh? Big, big fish. Ooh. Nearly spooled us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Game on now. I'm gonna kick it out of gear, eh? Yeah. You'll play. I was gonna get your head camera for you, mate. <laughs> This is a big fish, guys. This is a really big fish. What do you say just for that landmark? <laughs> We're just talking about that landmark. <laughs> Sorry, bro. We're yeah. Play over your head. The Come barracking. The barracking's on, guys. Oh, no. Ooh. Sorry. Tell you what, mate. I'll get you I'll... up the front. Yeah, I'll get you up the front. I'll just sort out some stuff out for you. Gonna be hectic, but guys, this is gonna be awesome. We we're just talking about the good old Panigos. Try and keep that on him. Where is he, mate? He's straight ahead oh, of us. That's right, okay. We're pretty right here at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. I might just go over to the right a little bit if we can. Yeah. I'm on 1.3 metres of water here. Come on, brother. You can 
Did you see him? Yeah, he did. Ew! <laughs> yeah. He's coming up with left. Tell me when he's going to jump or not. He's going to left here. He's coming up. Jesus. He's up the top. Ooh, he's a good one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is it a meter you reckon, mate? Or? Oh, it's so close. Play. I haven't seen it fully seen him. Yeah, close, I reckon. He's good, but heavy. He right okay. here. Alright. Might push I've it. I've got a camera over this side here, but try and land on, on your right hand side, okay? Okay. I'll just put a camera up here. Yep, he's coming up, ready? Oh, easy meter, I reckon. Easy? Oh, he's not ready yet, are you gonna go? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, you meter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you just in front you of tell me when you're ready and I'll come in with the, yeah. the net, mate. Yeah. Oh, it looked like there was nearly uh, money. I hooked on one hook, eh? One hook, yeah. King. Christ again. <laughs> That's a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Hang on. Oh. Let's just quickly set up here. <laughs> that is bloody awesome. That's a weapon. Mate. <laughs> ha! Snag has got him on it. That's a, yeah, that's a weapon, <laughs> brother. <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll get this door out. We'll get the door out here, yeah. bro. No worries, Gus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> Look at that, just fell out. Just. <laughs> you know, it's so lucky. Yeah. Gotta get this out of the way. Tell you what. Oh, look at the colour of that bar, that's just a stonker. Bloody awesome looking fish. Bloody awesome. Okay. You Bertie, I want to film you. Yep. No fish, you put them on the bag for it there, bro. Oh, look at that. That's a weapon. Let's go. The moment of truth. Him, yep, that's him here, yeah, bro. What do you got there, bro? 104, 104, 104, 104, 103. 103, eh? Yeah, 103. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> ah, that's it, brother. <laughs> yes. You bloody river. That is unreal. Hey, he's got one. Snag a bloody monger fish. Yeah, brother. You! Bloody good bloke. They don't call him the Barra King for no reason. <laughs> When you catch a bar, 134, we were just talking about some stories, <laughs> blow my mind. Yeah. And now, bang, a 103. So all the fish we've caught so far, oh, horses. that's five, all over the meter. The Pentecost is just the, oh. the, the river of giants. <laughs> I call it the home of the monsters. But here we go, that's it. Yeah. Home of the monsters. Home of the monsters. Okay, mate, you got the we'll get a photo. I'm gonna chug him back here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Another big metery for the year. 
I reckon it's probably, oh, I've got a few over a hundred this year, I reckon. Um, yeah, I need the first out of Snagger. Pretty, pretty more, more to come, I reckon. <laughs> Well done, brother. Cheers, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, another nice meadery. What'd you call this river? The, the home of the monsters, mate. It is. The that's... mighty Pentecost never lets me down. Well, that's <laughs> five fish to the boat, five metre plus bow. How good's that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that says it all, though. <laughs> it is. All right, let's get the lines back in. Yeah. Well done. Cheers, brother. That's awesome. Let's go. Okay. More to come. It's time to go back to Birchie's stories. Let's find out the last lot of stories on how he's changed his life and turned it around for the better. This photo here is eight days later. He catches a 132. That's why they call him the Barra King. The hardest things in my business is racism and my own skin colour. Really? The roof. Yeah, mate, yeah. Well, what, what would people say? Uh, a lot of jealousy, a lot of, you know, a lot of, what do they call it, a small puppy drum syndrome, you know that? Yeah. The keyboard warriors, they call them, um, or whatever, yeah, what, what, it's just more jealousy and um, stuff like that. Do you mind if I ask you, like, what kind of, like, questions uh, or, like? Yeah, a lot, lot, of, lot of threats. Uh, um, wow. What, what, what am I doing in certain areas, or on our area, uh, river systems, the main thing. With and country. Yeah, got... country, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, since we got this native title back, if we don't do anything with this country, no one, no, no one's gonna see it or nothing's gonna happen to it. You know? Yeah. Me being sat on business and doing stuff on our country is to give, show the world what we're doing out here and doing good things about it. We're doing positive stuff about it. Yeah. Um, you know, fishing, hunting, showing people around how we grew up, how we lived. And because like I said, this is my supermarket out here. Teach people all that stuff. <laughs> and, and, any, anybody can get up and do it, but um, yeah. Well, you just gotta get up and, and give it a crack and, and try, crack, you know. Yeah. So there, as you, um, there's not too many people who actually do, you know, all your culture tours, like what nah, you do mate, as I'm well. the only Indigenous operator up here in the Kim East Kimberley. Wow. In, uh, um, but when I first started, that negativity used to bring me down. Now I use that negativity for my positivity, mate. I'm out here kicking goals while they're sitting back talking crap. That's, yeah. That's me. I live, like I said before, live my best life ever. So. Yeah, that's awesome, mate. So this is doing my life trend for the positive reasons. Yep. I went travelling all Northern Australia, doing social emotional well-being camp for Aboriginal men. And when I was over there, I got professional help. I gave myself to the Lord. I don't go to church every day, but I believe in Jesus. Um, each camp got me stronger, my well-being, my mindset, how to get up and just talk and be strong about it and share, share my story. And and then I came back two days, I came back Christmas time. And this is how I got into tourism, this is how I got we were sitting on the dinner table and Mrs. said, why don't you start, uh, sorry, what are you going to do now? So I'm going to just be a stay-at-home dad. She said, we're getting a job. So we went looking for a job. <laughs> we went looking for a job and then, you know, shitty jobs, I didn't like it. And then we, um, then she said, why don't you start your own business up doing something you love? And to be honest, guys, I still struggle on reading and writing today. Um, you know, pulling out of school at a young age. But you said 10 years old. Yeah, so, my dear. Yeah. And I said, I said, oh, give me a day, I'll think about it. And then. The next day, uh, so I went to sleep. The next morning, I got up and said, "You know what? Let's do this shit. If we fail, we fail. We'll, we'll get back up and do it again. If we succeed, let's let's just keep pushing." So today, guys, um, this is my fourth year in my business now. I'm living my best life ever. That's I awesome. Never, um, I never. I've got a happy home. I, I'm married. My kids are happy. My home's happy. Um, I'm meeting famous people all, all over the world. Hanging with the Hemsworth brothers. Um, never thought I'd be on TV. Hanging with you, brother. <laughs> catching up with you. Catching meteries. Um, and just yeah, you're living my best life ever. I'm on the side of this, I've got my own men's group now, I started my own men's group up. I'm so proud of myself for doing that. That's amazing, eh? yeah. you know, like you've, you've, what you've gone through and how, like you said, you spent 20 seconds and you felt nervous and everything like that, you yeah. know, explaining your story. And now, like, you've got your own men's group. Oh, here we go, oh, we're on. We're on. <laughs> All right, hang on. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm lost. Oh, <laughs> I'm All right, go. Go for it, mate. <laughs> Oh, yours! Here we go, guys! Woo! <laughs> Good one, this one. Hey, this might be a keeper! This might be a keeper! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a keeper, bro! That's a keeper! Enough for you! Yeah! Back here, yeah. yeah. Then we'll get the net. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be starving tonight. I know, I've got killer beef, I'll be right. <laughs> it's going to be a nice keeper. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> well done, bro. Watch how it talks. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm up here. <laughs> Big bloke, so scared. <laughs> no way, I am too. Nice fish, bro. Yeah. That's awesome. Good dinner tonight. Yeah, bro. Much appreciated. I'll keep it. <laughs> We're going to uh, take care of this one. It's the first fish in four days. I've actually been able to keep every other one has been a metre. <laughs> Cheers, Bertie. Game over. Game over. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, but you can't help it when you catch fish. <laughs> um, yeah, so Bertie's going to finish off his story for us. Yeah, so awesome. my, with my men's group, it's up to that part where I started my men's group now, sort of in a place where I can give back to the community, when I inspire other men to actually get up and have a crack at life. You know, the only way, if you're down, the only way is up. You know, you, like if I can do it, anybody can do it. You know, get myself out of the gutter. I, I always pass the message that my door is always open, my phone number is all, all, my phone is always on. No matter what time it is, just give me a call or come knock on my door. If you're hungry for a feed or just a cup of tea or just a yarn, even go out fishing or hunting if you need, it, you know, any of that stuff. You fill your freezers up, you know. Just come around and you, know, you have a yarn. We'll probably we'll make a deal out and you know fill up. Just fill so up, so help them with mental with yeah. clearing the head. You're getting your head. head straight. Having a yarn, just, yeah. just getting out on country as well, the main important thing. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Mate, I really appreciate your stories of what you've told us. Um, yeah. I take my hat off to you. Like, that's just blowing me away. Absolutely. I didn't know that side of you and what you know yeah. what you went through and everything as well. And, um, yeah, that's uh, amazing. Thank you for coming out and spending time with us. Oh, and, no worries, mate. and sharing your story, <laughs> Ray, you know, yeah. like, you know, it takes a big man to share a story oh, like definitely, that. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Um, even just all about now, I still oh, get goosebumps. Mate. I'm getting goosebumps, mate. <laughs> <right. laughs> yeah, that's no, I am. Very important, like, I, what, like why I share it, you know, just to just to give people a history of what I've been through, and just you know, um, so when they do come with me, they, they know who they're coming out with, um, you know, and just yes, I just love sharing it to inspire, like I said before, inspire other men to actually have a crack. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah, and. I know for a fact that a lot of people are looking up to you now, oh, and, yeah. you know, so, I mean, that must be a good feeling as well, you know, you giving back to the people who you care about, oh, and yeah, yeah. Um, everything, what you're doing now, and, I mean, you're kicking goals with your business and everything now, um, it's amazing, so, mate, thank you. No, no worries. And, and also, I'll... I just want to mention now, my, my men's group are all, it's open to all race, so no matter who you are, black, white, Asian, African, you're more than welcome to come along, um, just give me a buzz on Instagram, or or through my website, um, and also the next men's group, I'm gonna be putting flyers up around town and also on my page. And if you wanna come along, and yeah, mate, we'll definitely catch up and see yeah. you out in, out in country. Good to myself, yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah, no Much worries, appreciate brother. it. We'll shake hands. Yeah. All right. Woohoo! It's my turn. We're just doing tag teams here. Yeah? Fish for fish. Surely it can't be another metre fish. <laughs> River monsters, but it's a bloody good fish, that's for sure. She's flying in towards me here. Home of the monsters. It is, eh? Mighty Pentecost River. Home of the monsters. You heard it from the man himself. The Barra King. Okay. Now this is where the majority of the time the bug is, you'll lose your fish right out the boat. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no, I need to get around the other side of the sun. Oh, look at this. Oh, it is a meter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, I might swap sides. Yeah. You come here. Yeah. And um, I'll jump up the front. Yeah. What we're going to try and do is um, I want to get, yeah, I want to try and get this, like, yeah, put the boat over that side of it. Yeah. So we got the sun against us so we can see the fish. Oh. <laughs> you little ripper guys oh it's out of gear bro actually where we are is fine now bro yeah yeah 
export on with the sun. Let's go. Yeah. Nah, they're good, mate. <laughs> oh, I'm buzzing. <laughs> I've got a smile. Here, here. Oh, so good. Oh. He's dogging it again, this little bugger. Hiding underneath the boat. Here he comes. I'll get him over the other side, you're right, mate. I'll bring him over to the light here now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's pretty good. Don't you jump. He's well and truly hooked. The line's caught around that hook, see that? Oh, no. Okay, bro. I can't pull it. Head first. Get him in there, get him in there. Oh, no. Go, go. Oh, no. He's stitching me up here. <laughs> All right. Nah, we've got him now. You ready? Oh, no. Nah. He's not ready. Oh, the line's off the hooks now. That's good. Look at this. Sick. <laughs> uh. Okay. This time. Okay. Put a bit more pressure on this time. I'll see if he's that easy for you. Yeah, we'll be Here we go, bro. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Hang on, bro. Do that again. <laughs> yes. Game over. That's it. Ah, what a horse. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> River monsters. Oh. The land of the giants. <laughs> <laughs> Every single fish. This is just off. Chain. <laughs> it's off tap, man. <laughs> it's sick. Oh. We'll uh, flip this guy right over. Look at that. The thickness, eh? Oh, man. We both know not to put the hands in now. Hey, hey. longer flies. Oh, hang on. Too. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be. It's just fat. I don't know if he's gonna crack it. Oh. <laughs> Bloody awesome. <laughs> Smack on. A meter fish. Okay. He's on. He's on. Come up, guys. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Another meter fish. Look at that. Look at that, for me to fish, look at that, it's unreal. The land of the river monsters, the mighty Pentecost River. <laughs> hey, sand beaches, game over. <laughs> okay, we're going to spear this one, you got it? Yeah, well. Go, yeah, straight in. There you have it. There you go, Let's bro. go. <laughs> yes. Morning, guys. It's early today. I've been up since buddy 2.30 this morning. I was too excited. I'm heading home. If you watch this far, I really appreciate it. These guys are legends of champions and I really hope you have enjoyed this whole River Monster episodes. And to have a brother come out, explain his life story. I've, I was in awe last night. I was actually, I went back through some of the footage and I was thinking to myself, how good is this bloke? To share his life story all on film and explain what he went through, how he does things, 
it really, it really touched the heart. It really, um, yeah, it opened my eyes. So Birchie Sam, if you're watching this, mate, you're a bloody legend and bloody proud of you, bro. I'm so happy that you're in a good spot. You're an absolute legend, brother. Again, guys, I appreciate everything what you've done, your support. You're bloody awesome. I'm gonna hit the road. We're gonna switch this light off. Here we go. Then I can actually see what's going on. You can see daylight cracking. Let's go. I'm gonna turn my sound light down because I can't see anything. We're out of here.